What's up guys, Zio here from the Austin Nerd Show bringing you more Marvel Legends. This time we're continuing on with the 80th anniversary, this time the Marvel Studios series where we have the Grandmaster and Korg 2 pack here. So this is a pretty cool and fun pack. We're finally getting a Korg and then of course we have the Grandmaster which at the time of this recording I was able to get the Grandmaster collector pack so it'll probably be up on the channel though by the time you see this. But it's so cool to get this 2 pack from Thor Ragnarok so of course that was a fun movie and everything about the poster and stuff back there with the two pictures of course Jeff Goldblum and everything. So this is a pretty cool and fun pack. I'm excited to get into it. Before we do, don't forget if you like Marvel Legends and like to see these action figures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Let's go ahead and get into them. So here's the Korg again, Grandmaster. So we'll go ahead and set Korg aside and deal with Grandmaster first. So here he is, and he looks pretty dang good. And I have to say, this face sculpt and design on him is like almost perfect. Like you can so tell that is Jeff Goldblum. It's like almost perfect and dead on. Of course, they're making a lot of figures of him with this and then Jurassic Park figures. So they should have his face sculpts in on stuff for toy companies and everything. But this is just like absolutely absolutely perfect it's so cool so we've got the look there of Jeff Goldblum of course the real Grandmaster like from the comic stuff has all blue skin but unfortunately they didn't paint him all blue or anything so they just left him human skin color but they add the blue detail and like the paint stripe there as kind of like a little soul patch type thing there but I guess that was enough and then we have his white hair and I like how it's all like coming into the point so it's got a point in the center and then two little points off to the side there so I like that a lot then he's in his robe here so he's got like a, a nice golden color robe here you can see the details into it you can see all the like little print or whatever they did into and stuff looks pretty nice there so a nice cold robe with the red trim and red belt on there and then you can see his shirt underneath so he's got a blue shirt with some red detailing there in the center he has a waistband we'll see here in a second he's got some gauntlets there on his arms and then he's got some nice silvery pants down below and then his sandals which come to weird points in the front is kind of weird but I like it at the same time but the sandals are nice gold sandals there and then of course you can see he's got painted blue toenails and fingernails as well there on his hand then some rings and stuff there so it's pretty nice and you you can open up his robe here so you can open it up you know to get more movement range you I like that color there with the gold on the top and then the blue paint blue painted down below I like that color detail it's probably just for the look but I like it. I think that looks pretty neat and everything we get some movement so his head can obviously twist and nod so it's got some good range head movement there then we have the shoulder that can move up a little bit that's not very much though it just goes out about 90 there but can rotate all the way around we have the bicep twist and the double elbow joint and then the wrist that can of course twist around and flex and then on his other arm, since it does have the sleeve, it's designed a little bit differently. So the shoulder can you know, go up a little less than 90 degrees. So it doesn't have as much movement. And then it has the single elbow joint there. So it's just the single joint, as you can see. And, but it also has the twist in it. So you can twist it around. And then his hand is the same, though. It can flex and rotate. And then we can open up his rope to get more, see more of the movement. So we do have an ab twist and a little bit of a crunch. But it's, uh, you can see, like, right at his chest. So he's got the pants really high up. Then it has this waist. I think that's called, like, a cover bun or something like that usually but a nice piece of red cloth there that's kind of like at the waist but you know that's all there is is a twist and the crunch there it's hard to do though with the robe on and then we again have the metallic silvery pants there but no twist or anything at the waist or anything the legs come out about 90 degrees out to the side quite a bit and then back hardly at all especially because of the robe we have the thigh twist and the double knee joint and then the foot down at the bottom can flex and twist side to side and then of course the robe that I pointed out so it's got the nice blue on the the inside there with the golden stuff looks pretty nice of course they didn't have to paint the top because you only see the bottom there and it does flare out at the bottom here so it helps him to stand up and everything so it makes him a lot easier to get the stand up and stuff you just pretty much have to do it and he'll stand so the grandmaster is a little information on him. so he's the ruler of sakar which is the planet from thor ragnarok and he's the creator and runner of the contest of champions so that's where we see thor and hulk fight each other that's the contest of champion big like gladiatorial battle and so for his powers he's immortal he has telepathy and he's considered an elder of the universe along with his brother the collector and stuff so they're brothers if you didn't know so he has a long history going back with him and stuff especially since you know he's considered an elder and stuff and the only accessory he comes with is his melt stick here that we see the muse in the movie and stuff where they touch the guy and he completely melts into a puddle of goo and stuff which comes in that two pack as well with the collector and him so that's pretty cool that they included that little like goo puddle and stuff but yeah it's really all that he comes with and that's gonna be it for the grandmaster the next up we've got korg which is again is so cool that they finally included included him as a figure here and stuff. I wish he came with Meek instead of Grandmaster and then especially since they're making the Grandmaster Collector 2 pack but it's still cool that we at least got Korg and stuff. Of course such a fun character and in the movie and stuff he's voiced by Taika Waititi has the awesome stuff and he says all the funny lines and stuff but of course we all love the piss off ghost so that's so uh, fun and so cool to have him again. So he's a big nice rock creature. He's a Cronin which is a rock like humanoid so very similar to the thing. Um, obviously a little, looks a little bit different stuff but that's pretty much what he is so he's just an all nice rocky guy 
and stuff. He's very rough. It's very annoying to touch of his body and stuff because it's all the pokes and everything. But you can see his rock-like face there. And I like the little like smile the game and stuff just fits perfectly with Corey. And you can see the like rock spikes coming off the back of his head and everything there. All rock body. Then he has the gladiatorial armor on. So he's got the armor there on his shoulder and stuff. And then the leather and armor and stuff. Waist covering stuff. The legging. The armor there around his shins and everything. And the band on his arm. He's got some uh, paint or a tattoo. I don't know if it's a tattoo or just like paint from the gladiatorial arena or blood or something. I don't know exactly what that marking there on his arm is and stuff. But I just assume it's some from the gladiatorial stuff. So it just looks very nice and everything. Again, not a whole lot with this figure. It's pretty based and stuff. You know, just has the gladiatory armor and stuff on. But still is a nice looking figure overall. So for Moon, so they had that can twist and nod just a little tiny bit. Then we have the shoulders that can barely move at all. So this one obviously has the armor piece and this one doesn't. But it just doesn't move up that much at all. But it does rotate and everything. We have the bicep twist. The double elbow joint, which it's hard to see. It's just this little tiny elbow point there and stuff. But it's got the double version. The wrist can twist around and has a joint for flexing, but it doesn't there. You can do it, but it's a side to side flex. So but other than that, you can't really see too much movement in there. He has an ab crunch and twist. So here you can see barely a crunch at all there. It kind of crunches a little bit more, but a twist mostly. And then he also has a twist at the waist. So under here, under like the belt and stuff, he does have a twist there as well, right at the waist. His legs come out just a very little bit, nothing too much. I don't know if this stuff is too stiff or some, but his legs barely come out to the side though some. He does have the thigh twist kind of hidden under there. Double knee joint again with the little tiny point kneecap there so it's kind of funny. And then the foot that can flex and twist side to side. So as I mentioned with Cork, he was a Cronin. He's a gladiator on Scar. Of course that's how Thor meets him in the contest of champions. And with Cork's powers he has superhuman strength and then because of all the rocks and stuff he's super durable so he doesn't get damaged too much. And his only accessory is the Sakarian laser rifle so it looks like a nice big mace and stuff that you know that you can you know bludgeon someone with everything but it also turns into a gun so I don't know I thought it shot from this end but maybe it shoots from that end but it's you know it's a gun as well so that's pretty cool double weapon there so you have a gun and then a bludgeoning object as well so you can go short range and long range so that is pretty cool for this weapon so that's it for this Corrigan Grandmaster 2 pack and you can see especially here next to each other the size difference between the two characters so that's really cool that they made Korg as big as they did and stuff but that's it for this pack I hope you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments down below what your opinion of this pack is and if you like Thor Ragnarok let me know in the comments and of course don't forget to subscribe to see more Marvel Legends videos thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time